This video is going to be filled with juicy details on the topic of direct downloads from Spirit. You're gonna learn what a direct download really is and how it's different from pure intuition. And then I'll share five easy steps to help you receive downloads from Spirit quickly and effortlessly. But a heads up, because after watching this video, you may look like this. Wow. You've been warned. Hello, beautiful soul. This is Christina Lopes, the Heart Alchemist. I am so excited to announce that our course Awaken is officially open. <laughs> if you are struggling right now in your spiritual awakening and you feel lost or confused or alone with all the things that are happening to you, consider joining us in Awaken. I designed this course to help bring you meaning so you know exactly what's going on in your spiritual awakening, even if you feel completely lost, stability so your energy grounds and comes very, very quickly. And finally, clarity to help you know exactly what steps to take next in your life towards your highest soul purpose. If this resonates with you, click on the link below in the description box below to learn more about Awaken and join us in this course. I hope to see you there. On to part one of the video, what is a direct download? Okay, so direct downloads can be seen as very similarly as a pure intuition, okay? So both the direct downloads and intuition, they're a form of receiving guidance and receiving higher knowing, all right? So they are very similar, but there are differences. Direct downloads feel very different to me. So I'm gonna go into the definition of what a direct download is, and then we'll go into some particularities of how it's different from pure intuition. All right. So direct download is a packet of information received from spirit that goes beyond what your mind knew before. Okay. So you're receiving your information from your spirit guides, from source, you're receiving this information and this information gives you a better understanding about, uh, about a subject. All right. So one of the ways in which a direct download is different from intuition is that this information that you're receiving when you get a direct download, it's considered outside of you. So it's information that's coming from outside of you. Whereas intuition operates a little bit differently. Intuition operates as information information that's coming from yourself, from various aspects of yourself, for instance, from your soul or your higher self or within your own body. Okay. So that's one main difference is that when you're getting a direct download, you're getting something that's coming from outside of you in the form of spirit guides or source energy that's sending you that information. Whereas the intuition is more internal. It's more coming from a part of you, like your soul or your higher self. That's one difference. Another difference between pure intuition and direct downloads is is where they come in. Okay. So intuition, I've talked about intuition before as being a heart phenomenon. So you feel that pure first intuition at the level of the heart chakra. All right. With direct downloads, it's very different. You're receiving the information right into the top of your head through the crown chakra. All right. And this feels very, very differently. So if you've ever experienced a direct download versus pure intuition, you will understand what I'm saying. They, they literally come in, in different places of your body. And once you get good at, at kind of understanding the difference and feeling the difference, you will know right away the difference between intuition and a direct download. Okay. So, so these are the two, couple of differences that really make intuition different from a direct download. Now, if you want to go into uh, intuition a little bit deeper, if you want to study your intuition, if you want to go into the particularities of your intuition being a heart phenomenon, I shot a couple of videos on intuition and I'll leave links in the description box below. So you can watch after watching this video and you can go deeper on intuition and how to develop it in yourself. So probably the coolest thing about a direct download is that when you receive a direct download, it literally feels like something has been dropped on your head. That's how I experience them. And that's one of the coolest ways of, about this direct download is that you receive it as if something had dropped on your head. And, and this packet of information that drops on your head, it could come in many forms. So uh, you can have a lot of vision. So it's very common for direct downloads to be accompanied with vision. So it's literally being dropped, dropped on your crown chakra. So then you have this third eye also coming into the mix. There can be a 
lot of visions that you experience uh, about your own life. Uh, a direct download can come in the form of guidance for someone else. So you can receive a direct download with information for someone else. That, that happens to me a lot when I'm working with clients. I receive a lot of information for other people in the form of direct downloads. Um, it could be information that you're receiving from spirit guide or from source having to do with the challenge in your life that you're going through right now. Or it could be an answer to a question that you asked the universe and you receive that in the form of a direct download. Okay. So these are various ways in which direct downloads kind of fall on your head. Um, but it's always this source of information of extra information that your mind couldn't have come up with by itself. So it has this beautiful, broad perspective. You have a broader understanding when that direct download falls on your head, you suddenly see things within an expansive view. Okay. So, um, here's another way to look at this, at this direct download. A direct download is a moment where you see something from an expansive view beyond your mind and you see it with clarity. So when that direct download falls on your head, you see something with so much clarity. There's no more doubt in your mind when you receive uh, a direct download. And this happens to me a lot when I'm working. So I get direct downloads about topics for videos as I'm preparing them. Um, I get a lot of direct downloads when I'm working with people. For instance, uh, uh, this happens a lot when I'm doing my heart alchemy program and I'm coaching people, or when I'm doing my private retreats, when people are asking me questions right on the spot, I'm just receiving through direct downloads. I'm receiving information and messages then to give to that person. Okay. So this happens to me very, very frequently in my work. And even if you don't have the same line of work as me, you can also receive direct downloads having to do with, with specific issues in your life, whether it's for yourself or for someone else. On to part two of the video, how to receive downloads. Okay. So I'm going to go into, I'm going to share five simple steps with you on how to receive downloads. Try to do these steps in order uh, because I put them in order. Okay. So follow the order of these five steps. The first step is to set the stage. Okay. Now what I mean by set the stage is really something practical, um, like decluttering. Okay. So you want to declutter your space. This is, this is one of the basic rules of the ancient Chinese system of Feng Shui. So when you are in Feng Shui, clutter is not looked upon really well because what Feng Shui is, it's a system of organizing your home, organizing your physical space in a way that promotes the circulation of chi or of energy. And so the more cluttered a space is, the more cluttered your internal environment is. And you don't want your internal environment to be cluttered because it'll be harder for you to receive direct downloads. So we're going to set the stage, meaning that you're going to declutter your space even if it's just the space that you've set aside for your, for receiving, um, your direct downloads or for communicating with spirit. Let's say you have a big house or your house is messy in multiple rooms, but then there's just one room that you're going to set aside right now to be your room for spiritual guidance. Let's just pretend, let's just call it your room of spiritual guidance. That room needs to be clear and decluttered. The more decluttered it is, the more you're setting the stage to create that spaciousness to receive the direct downloads. You need a lot of space, both external and internal to receive direct downloads purely. All right. Now, another way, aside from decluttering, another way that I like to set the stage is to then once I declutter, once the space is nice and clean, then what I can do is I, I continue to set the stage by setting an altar, for example. So I like to have a little altar where I have some, maybe some crystals, maybe I have some incense burning, maybe I have uh, pictures of gurus or spiritual teachers that you really love. You can put that on your altar. Maybe you even just add some beautiful flowers to your altar, but you have have a little area there that helps to consolidate pure energy, which will also help in the reception of, of direct downloads. Okay. So this is just one example, this step number one of just creating that outer space. You're decluttering that outer space to start to allow for energy to move, to start to allow for spaciousness and breathing room in terms of chi. And that this space will then really be able to cultivate the reception of direct downloads more easily. Step number two is intention to receive. Okay. So now that I've decluttered my space, that I have this beautiful open space where chi is circulating. Now I'm going to set the intention to receive a direct download. Intention is so, so powerful 
powerful with anything ha having to do with any kind of spiritual tools, really. When you intend something and so it is, you create a lot of energy momentum behind whatever it is that you're intending. And so that's really important when it comes to receiving direct downloads. The, the, the type of intention that I love to start with is an intention where I'm actually creating internal space uh, for that direct download to come in. And I do that by asking my ego to step aside, all right? That mental, that monkey mind, that ego that's constantly thinking and constantly chitter chatting. I ask that ego to step aside and I usually do that with an intention mantra. So I'm going to share that affirmation with you now. I set the ego aside and make room for information to flow from spirit in the highest good of all. So once I repeat this affirmation, I'll usually repeat it multiple times. All right. So ding, ding. All right. Remember this side note here, when it comes to intention affirmations, you want to repeat your affirmations multiple, multiple times. So you create that extra energy momentum. Once I repeat my affirmation multiple times, now I'm ready to start receiving those direct downloads. And they usually come in three different forms. Okay. So your, your, your direct downloads will usually come in three different forms. The first one is spontaneous. Okay. So that's when I state that my ego be set aside and I sit there and I receive a spontaneous direct download, which is a direct download that I don't have any topic in mind. I don't have any questions, any challenges, nothing. I just open myself up to receive whatever information is in my highest good at that particular moment. So it's spontaneous. I don't have a specific topic that I'm focusing on. All right. So that's one way we can receive direct downloads. Another way is through a question. Question. Okay. So maybe I have a specific question that I pose to the universe. And then when I pose that question, then I'm going to receive a direct download as an answer to that question. Another way to receive direct downloads is through a challenge. So maybe I have a challenge in my life, something that's really bothering me, something that I'm going through that's particularly painful, some kind of challenge that I'm going through. And I specifically ask the universe to provide me with guidance pertaining to that specific challenge. So these are usually the three main ways in which we receive direct downloads from spirit. Now, when it comes to receiving spontaneous direct downloads, you don't really have to do anything else except that, that ego mantra that I, that I just stated a little while ago, where you're asking your ego to, to step aside and just receive that information. If, if you have a question, then what you're going to do after you're doing, you do your ego, um, affirmation is you're going to write down the question, maybe write it down on a, a notebook, write it down on a piece of paper, and you're going to write it down and then you're going to read it back out loud to the universe. And maybe you're going to want to do this multiple times. And then you put your question down. Once you finish stating your question a few times, you put your question down and then you prepare yourself to receive the answer. If it's a challenge that you have, write a little bit about the challenge, just journal a little bit about the challenge and then open yourself up to receive information pertaining to that challenge that is in your highest good. Okay. So these are the ways to kind of work with this intention step. Um, just creating this space to start receiving your direct downloads. Step number three is silence and stillness. Okay. This is so, so crucial and it's so important for so many of us today because we have gotten so used to being busy all the time. We're constantly doing something. Even when we're just sitting on the couch, we're usually scrolling through our phones, social media. We've literally have programmed activity in every single minute of our lives. And we're always busy doing something. And this is a problem when it has to do with receiving any kind of spiritual guidance or direct download, because in this step, what you're doing is we, in the, in step one, we kind of decluttered the outer environment. And now this step is about decluttering the inner environment. We've got to put our phones down. We've got to put our computers down and we have to program at least a little bit of time in our days to be silent to just be still, to not be doing anything at all. It's in this space, this silence and this stillness that we start to cultivate and quiet down that monkey mind, the monkey mind that never, ever stops. Okay. So here's a pro tip, and this is important for you to master until you learn to create these times of silence and stillness in your life. It's going to be really difficult for you to quiet down the monkey mind, that chitter chatter mind that's constant, constantly talking. And if you don't quiet that monkey mind, if you don't quiet down the mental chatter, it'll be really difficult for you to receive direct downloads. 
think of it this way. This is the metaphor that I like to give. If you have a cup full of water and you try to pour more water in it, what's going to happen? <laughs> it's just the water's just going to pour everywhere and you're going to make a mess. Why? Because there's no more room in that cup to accept more liquid. It's at its capacity. Now, if I take an empty cup and then I pour water in it, that emptiness is going to be able to hold that liquid. And it's the same thing when it has to do with this, with this step, the silence and the stillness is going to be emptying you out so that you could receive that divine guidance in the form of direct downloads. Another important thing to remember about this silence and stillness is that when I empty myself out, when I declutter internally, it's not just that now I have more space to hold information so I can actually receive the direct download. That's true. I'm creating more space, but there's something else that's important too. I'm also creating the space to be able to decode the information. Okay. Because empty space holds and decodes the information. When I receive a direct download, sometimes the packets of information can be so complex. They can feel like compressed zip files really. So imagine that you have a compressed zip file fall on your head. It can take some time for you to open that zip file up energetically and decode the information and understand the information. And so you need space and internal stillness and internal decluttered environment in order to be able to not only hold the direct download, but start decodifying it. So it's really, really important for you to program, even if it's just a few minutes a day for you to program yourself, to go to your download station or your download space, the, the room that you've created for yourself, sit in silence, no music, no cell phone, nothing. You are just in pure silence. You're not doing anything. You're just sitting there waiting to receive this download. Even if it's just a few minutes a day, start cultivating those moments of silence in your life. That's a great way and a super important way for you to start receiving these direct downloads more quickly. Step number four is to connect with the body. Ding, ding. Oh, so important to connect with your beautiful body. Now, the way that I love to do this best is to just close my eyes and take a deep breath and connect with my breath. All right. The moment that you start to connect with your breath, you're connecting with your body. Now, why is it so important to go deeply and connect with my body? It's because when I receive direct downloads, a lot of people think that direct downloads are being received only at the level of the mind. Cause remember I said they drop on your head, but don't be mistaken in thinking that they drop on your head and they stay there. Okay. So direct downloads, they fall on your head, but then they literally penetrate into every cell of your being and you have 40 trillion of them. <laughs> okay. And so what these direct downloads do is they go de very deep into your body in the form of energy. And and I'm sure this has happened to you before. I've talked to so many people who say to me that when they receive a direct download or an intuition, intuition actually functions the same way too that they just know something with every cell of their being. Has this ever happened to you where you just know something with such certainty, you know it in every pore of your body, right? If you've ever experienced this before, what are you saying when you use words like this? I know this with every cell in my being, or I know this with every pore in my body. What you're saying is that the energy has penetrated very deeply and it's resonating with all of your cells. That's literally what you need to do here. When you receive a direct download, it's not just being processed by the mind. It then has to go down, down, down into the body, and it needs to be processed energetically at the level of the body so that that information can be received, not only on a mental level, but on an energy level and an emotional level and all levels of your multidimensional being. Step number five. And the last one is to let it settle. Okay. So we already talked a little bit about how that direct download feels like a compressed zip file that falls on your head. And so when it comes to this step, really what you're doing is you are learning to marinate in the energy. I love to use this term because it just perfectly illustrates what I'm talking about here. You need to learn how to marinate in the energy once you receive that direct download. So don't be too, um, don't be too impulsive or quick to action. A lot of times when we receive direct downloads, they're coming in the form of that compressed file and compressed files have a ton of information and they need to be decompressed compressed. They need to be kind of opened up. They need to be analyzed. They need to be felt. And so there's a lot of stuff going on when you receive a direct download, especially if it's a complex direct download with a lot of information. So you need to learn how to marinate in the energy, how to, how to sit with it, how to let it unfold inside of you before you jump to action. There's never any hurry when it comes to direct downloads. Okay. And it's just that we're so action oriented that we're sometimes, we sometimes forget about that 
and we want to jump into action too quickly before the energy has been fully interpreted and absorbed in the body. Okay. So you want to give yourself enough time to decode the information on a mind, emotional, and spiritual level. You want to give yourself enough time to decode the message. So learn how to sit and marinate in the energy. Don't jump to action too quickly. Maybe learn how to journal about what your insights are. Journal about the insights, journal about your conclusions, journal about what the, what the direct download is telling you. What do you know? What have you learned? Start journaling about this, marinating in the energy, nice and slow. And then when you feel like you fully interpreted the whole download, then feel free to step in and act. If that's something that you need to do. Now over to you. Let me know in the comments below. Have you ever received a direct download like the ones that I'm talking about in this video? I want to hear all about it in the comments below. Click here to subscribe to my YouTube channel or head over to my website where you can learn more about my new course, Awaken and join it. I'll hope to see you there. And don't forget these two videos that I talked about intuition. That'll be great for you to continue viewing after this one. All right, beautiful soul. That's it for me. I love you. I'm out.